Hey, Willie here, Power Out of True Dummies Part 2. I just posted this on my private channel and sent it out to a couple people. The questions in the comments I got back were, were good. Were good quick. Um, okay, I forgot to mention, someone mentioned or wanted me to mention, sent out a second thing saying that uh, it's important too to remember your gas stations, which ones have generators and which grocery stores have generators because if the power goes out, you want to get there quick because once everyone realizes it's a long-term thing, the power might not be on there when you need it. Um, and always have extra cash on hand. Cash is king still. Always as much as you can possibly muster in small bills. Have it in your house. Have it stored. Have it secured. Because you might have to use that if the power's out for a couple days. Cash, you'll be bartering with cash, not with your debit card. So know the, know the gas stations that have generators and know the grocery stores that have generators. That was a good one. Um... Second question was, why do you got to lock yourself inside on a nice day? Because two things, and they kind of kind of lead together. The uh, You might not know why the power's out, but the guy two doors down from you might. He might know that, you know what, all of a sudden we had a major solar storm and the grid is fried. We might be in the dark for weeks and months. Well, if you're not in your home and he knows that you have supplies like this, guess what he's going to do? Chances are he's going to come into your home or someone might try to do you harm to get what you get what they need this is i've said this a hundred times most people it's good to be prepared because most people don't clue in right away the scope of of an emergency they're very blinded and very in awe um they're too busy you know trying to digest it than they are realizing thinking ahead and planning and dealing with it put it this way and this leads to the, the blackout of the curtains and the don't ask, don't tell the part I teach in my home preparedness courses. How far would you go to keep your family fed and keep the medicine they needed to keep them alive in, an, in a shift or emergency situation? How far would you go to do that? You'd go anywhere. You'd, you'd go to any length of immense saving your child's life, saving your, your, your family member's life. You know, your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, whoever. Now on the other end of the fork, what would you do to protect your family's livelihood and life if someone tried to get in there and get your supplies, get your food, get your medicine that you needed? It's a double-edged sword. You would do what you can to get it, and you will do what you can to protect it. And so will everyone else in a shift situation if it got really bad. So that comes to <clears throat> two things. Come, well, three things it comes in the security, learning about the security and tools you can have and things you can do around your house, how to secure doors proper and everything else. But anyways, there's two things I teach in my course. One is don't ask and don't tell, which means do not tell, don't brag to your neighbors. Hey, I got a new generator. Hey, I got a solar generator. Hey, I've got this at home. Hey, I can keep warm. I, hey, I got this much food. It's no one's business because I promise you, that when push comes to shove, your best friend, your next door neighbor, when he doesn't have anything and you got it all, I don't care how good of a friend he is, he's going to come knocking. And unless you're prepared to deal with him and a whole lack of other people, don't ask, don't tell. That's number one. Number two, um, about locking yourself into thing I forgot to mention in the first video, especially at night, you should always have blackout curtains. If you don't have blackout curtains, Keep a supply of a dollar store painter's tape and garbage bags that have been cut open or blankets, heavy, thick wool blankets that you can put up over the windows. Your mission for this, your goal for this is one, not letting anyone be able to see in your windows from the street or looking right up to them. And number two, not being able to see the light coming out if you have a beautiful array of your, your house is lit up like a Christmas tree inside because you got solar backup or whatever it takes. You don't want anyone knowing you have it. Because once again, after day three and day four, when you're eating a hot meal that you've, you know, you've prepared, you've stowed, and your family's sitting around watching a, a battery-operated op battery DVD player, or you've still got the TV connected, and you have all juice, and your next-door neighbors are shivering around a candle, eating a can of cold beans, them and the rest of the neighbors are going to come knocking, and they're going to think mighty low of you if you don't share. Anyways, guys, this is just a couple follow-up questions. They're great. If you have any questions, you know what? I'm happy to answer them. You can send them via this or, you know, those of you that have my email on my private channel, send me an email. I don't care. I'll answer them. This is just, it's good knowledge. And I'd rather have my neighbors and my friends be prepared 
and, and be with me in an emergency than have to want to try to depend on me. Anyways, guys, Wild Willie, once again, thank you. Remember, it's not a question if this shit is fans, question of when, so always be prepared.